Hey there people, how are you doing? So today we have a very interesting comparison on our hands here. It's a flagship, which is the Galaxy S20 Plus versus the Vivo X50 Pro, a mid-ranger. That's right. And yeah, of course, you might be thinking, what the hell is wrong with me and why am I comparing a mid-range device with a flagship? Because obviously, as anyone would expect, the flagship would win without even breaking a sweat, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll find out because I can assure you, if nothing, it'll get supremely interesting the moment we enter the comparison. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first image, and yeah, there's really nothing much to say because both of them look almost identical in terms of overall dynamic range. Maybe there's a little bit of color temperature difference and really, it's your preference here. The X50 Pro looks a lot more natural, while the Galaxy S20 Plus could be considered to be a lot more vibrant. But for this one, it's pretty clear that the S20 Plus does a far better job in terms of dynamic range. Just look at the shadow detail and even the colors. While the Vivo is it's faltering with the HDR, but trust me, it'll get interesting very soon. Now over here, the X50 Pro looks a lot more natural, while the S20 Plus, well, it's, it's a bit much for my liking because yeah, that much vibrance and the leaves just look artificial to my eyes at least. I don't really like how it looks on the S20 Plus, but the Vivo, in my opinion at least, looks pretty damn good. So I'm gonna pick that one for this particular set of photos here. Over here, once again, the X50 Pro's dynamic range suffers quite a bit. It's like it's hibernating, if you understand what I mean. Because the S20 Plus, well, it does quite a bit better in terms of both colors and dynamic range. So the obvious pick is the S20 Plus here. Same story for this ultra wide image. The HDR isn't really kicking in on the Vivo, while the S20 Plus does a far better job. Same thing when we zoom into the main camera, the S20 Plus is the obvious pick here. Now this is a 2 times zoom shot and yeah, it looks very similar. And I'd also say that the detail levels do look just as similar, which is why I'm just going to call this one a tie. Moving on to 5x zoom on the X50 Pro, which is actually optical, and 4x zoom on the S20 Plus. Here I'd say that the differences are a lot more exaggerated because, well, the 5x zoom on the X50 Pro being optical has a much cleaner, sharper and less noisy result. While the S20 Plus, although yeah sure, it has a very high resolution sensor that it uses to prop in, I'd say the results are not that appealing as that of the Vivos. Now moving on to 10x zoom on both, here I'd say that having a 5x optical zoom really helps out the Vivo because you can see for yourself the sheer amount of grain, noise and even sharpening artifacts in the S20 Plus are all absent on the Vivo which is obviously a good thing. Now these are higher resolution images from both the cameras. It's 48 megapixel on the Vivo and 64 megapixel on the S20 Plus. Now there are two main aspects here. The Vivo is really exposing the shadows, while the S20 Plus, although not as good in the shadows, it is trying to keep just a little bit of the highlights in the sky. And I can tell you, the highlights are not that impressive as the shadows on the Vivo, so obviously I'm going to choose the Vivo X50 Pro here. Now here is where things get interesting because you can see that the Vivo looks pretty damn good and it also looks absolutely like how it looked to my eyes. The image is like photorealistic if that makes any sense in this context, but yeah, the S20 Plus on the other hand it's making the sky look really blue, which, well, it just looks unnatural because on a heavy overcast day that we had, it's not even possible to have such a blue sky and blue clouds. It was all dark gray and moody, and that is very well represented on the Vivo, which is why I'm actually going to pick the Vivo here, and that's not the only reason. You can also see in the shadows, in the palm trees, the Vivo X50 Pro is actually doing a better job in terms of dynamic range. Now, I did try to turn off Scene Optimizer on the S20 Plus with hopes that we'll get maybe a little bit more reduction in the excessive vibrancy, but yeah, no such luck. Over here, I'd say that both of them look absolutely fantastic in this shot, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you've seen it just as much as I have. The crisp and beautiful amount of shadow detail that we're getting right there. In the Vivo X50 Pro, it's just stunning. 
I don't even have to talk about the S20 Plus here because it's obviously better on the Vivo X50 Pro. So now we're moving indoors and here is a really good looking latte and I wanted to make a twist here. I decided to judge this photograph based on how delicious it made the latte look because you know, you want your food to be delicious. And here I have to pick the S20 Plus because it's really making the coffee look supremely delicious. Well, yeah, the Vivo is not doing a bad job per se, but it's not as good as the S20 Plus. Oh, and we also have a food mode on the S20 Plus, so if that's something you prefer, you can use it. Now, this is a photograph of a very small ship inside a glass box. Now, there are two things I want to mention here. Firstly, I should have cleaned that glass before taking the photograph, so pardon me on that. But yeah, on a more serious note, I have to say, the images look very similar. There is maybe just a little bit more highlight preservation on the X50 Pro, but other than that, it's quite easily, uh, at least I'd call it a tie. Now this is a considerably hard shot because the camera is aimed directly at the light and here's where the S20 shines. No pun intended because you can see the amount of noise in the background and the shadow detail is both in their own respective ways much better on the S20 Plus while the Vivo is it's not doing a bad job per se but it's not as good as the S20 Plus either. Now for this image, it's actually a backlit shot. Slightly backlit, not completely, but backlit nonetheless. And I have to say, the slightly brighter look on the S20 Plus is kind of making the wood texture and color stand out a bit more, which is why I'm going to pick this one. But the X50 Pro is also doing a considerably good job. Same story for this ultra wide angle image. It's a little bit brighter on the S20 Plus, which is why I'm once again picking it over the X50 Pro. Now for some selfies and portraits, well, for this one, particularly, I have to just admit that the 32 megapixel camera on the X50 Pro is really flexing the detail levels that it can bring out because it looks far better in terms of overall detail on my face than the S20 Plus and it's also a little bit brighter. Now, of course, that comes at a cost. You can see there is a little bit of overexposing going on, but even so, I'm going to pick the X50 Pro because it makes me, as a subject, look just a little bit better. Now this selfie portrait has typically the same characteristics, but you can see the X50 Pro missed out on this one little strand of hair. And so obviously you can see the edge detection on the Evo X50 Pro isn't just as good as S20 Plus. And so I'm going to pick the S20 Plus here because I believe that in a portrait image, the edge detection takes prime importance over almost anything else. Unless, of course, the image is total garbage, which is not true in this case. Alright, now a night mode selfie. And yes, both of them have this feature. I've gotta admit, the Vivo X50 Pro looks good, considering how less light there was in the room. But even so, the S20 Plus just manages to make all the textures and everything look a lot better. You can see in the background, the amount of artifacting is not even visible in the S20 Plus. Well, the Vivo is kind of struggling there. Okay, now I'll admit, this was an intense shot. You can see, being backlit by two powerful enough lights, it's not an easy image to take, that too in portrait mode. But I was just completely, like my jaw literally dropped to the floor when I saw the Vivo's image, because that much brightness on my face, I don't even know how it managed to do that, but I look quite a bit better than on the S20+. Plus. You can see, I'm like a dark mess in the S20+. Plus. I expected worse from Vivo, but yes, Vivo proved me wrong and I'm kind of happy about that. Now, for this image, we zoomed in two times on both of them. And yeah, both of them look really nice, but I'm going to pick the S20 Plus because you can see the Vivo is just slightly overexposing my face. It's minor, but a difference nonetheless. And I do think that the skin tones look just a little bit better on the S20 Plus. All right, moving on to night mode. And here, things get further interesting. Yeah, even I didn't think it could, but apparently it does. Because you can see, first and foremost, just the sheer amount of detail, not just in that furry ball thing, but also in that wall right beside it. You can see just how well all the details are preserved on the Vivo, while the S20 Plus surprisingly manages to smush them all completely. And you know, the S20 Plus, at least till now, I regarded it to be like one of the best night mode cameras, just even in terms of detail levels. And it seems the Vivo has the S20 bait here. 
Now this is a night mode shot, which was also backlit. Yeah, I know I'm really driving up the stakes here, but the Vivo does come on top once again. It might not look like it initially, but you can see on the table, it's being overexposed a little bit by the S20 Plus, but the Vivo is managing to keep a much better balance while also preserving a considerable amount of detail, especially on that braiding thing. I honestly can't believe that the S20 Plus is losing in a night mode battle. That is, wow, something else entirely. Now for this image, once again, somehow the Vivo is producing a brighter, much more accurate and a better detailed image than the S20 Plus. Yeah, I, I honestly, once again, I'm speechless because I don't understand how this is happening, how the Vivo is doing such a better job than the S20 Plus. Because, you know, it's taking similar five, maybe sometimes six seconds of exposure, but somehow the software is able to like drill out more detail and more vibrance and brightness and everything, which the S20 Plus is faltering quite a bit, unfortunately. Or fortunately for the Vivo, I guess. Now this image, I'd say that it looks very similar on both of them. And of course, we all like to pixel peep a little. And I'd say marginally better on the Vivo in terms of detail and overall colors. It's also notably just a tad bit brighter as well. So yeah, I'd say once again, the Vivo X50 Pro takes the win. You know, I have no idea what the hell is happening. How is a mid-range device so damn good in terms of its cameras? Oh, and while we're here, I also want to mention that the gimbal camera that's strapped on the X50 Pro's back, it's a godsend because taking this image at this weird angle, well, I'd say I had a lot more trouble on the S20 Plus than on the X50 Pro because the gimbal camera just nullifies most of the jerks and just small jitters that happen. And those, let me tell you, will ruin your night mode shots if you're not careful enough. On the X50 Pro, it's just a lot easier. Here we have dear old Valentine. And yes, once again, this is a backlit shot. Night mode as well. But yeah, there are two things that I noticed the most here. Firstly, a lot more brightness on the S20 Plus, which is actually making Valentine look quite a bit better. While the X50 Pro looks a lot cleaner, a lot more natural. And I also feel like it's maybe not overexposing as much as the S20 Plus, especially in the table area. Even so, I'm going to pick the S20 Plus because it makes Valentine as a subject look better. While the X50 Pro, it's darkening Valentine a little bit too much for my liking. Same story here. I'm obviously going to pick the S20 Plus because, you know, it's Valentine. Ain't nobody gonna darken my boy. But on a more serious note, I do think that the X50 Pro looks a lot more cleaner and much more natural. While the S20 Plus does have a tad bit more grain overall even on Valentine, but yeah, even so, I'm gonna pick the S20 Plus for this one. Now for this set of images, this is also very low light, and I'm gonna show you three images from the X50 Pro. Those are the first three images that I took, and on the other hand, when I was taking pictures with the S20 Plus, I took a painstaking, I think like six or maybe seven images. I'm gonna show you only two of them. Now the one you're looking at, it's one of the worst ones that I took, and it's got a ton of motion blur, it's smudged up, the details are not there, and yeah, it's it's not a good image overall. I did finally take one good image, which is coming up shortly, but you know, once again, I just have to say, the X50 Pro with this gimbal camera really makes it so, so much easier to take like eight second exposure. In this case, I'm not saying that Valentine moved a lot, he was almost like a statue for some reason, that's a new actually, but yeah, even so, holding the phone stable for eight seconds straight is pretty hard as it would seem, or maybe I just have really jittery hands, but yeah, other than that, definitely, my pick would go to the Vivo X50 Pro for all images because it's just the sheer convenience of it makes it kind of a deal breaker at this point. Taking seven images, eight seconds exposure each is a little bit irritating for me at least. So that wraps up this kind of long but also supremely interesting comparison that we had. And yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure what kind of conclusion should I draw because on one hand we have a far less expensive and well a typical mid-range device. Not a typical one because clearly the cameras are just fire. 
but yeah it's still a mid-range device on the x50 pro but it's somehow able to keep up and at times even able to beat out one of the most expensive flagships in the world yeah i'm not exactly sure how one should process that now of course i have a very good feeling that when you clicked on this comparison right here most probably you must be thinking that this is a very generic comparison between a mid-range device and a flagship where obviously the flagship turns out to be the winner and i just praise the mid-ranger for trying to keep up or something like that that is not the case let me assure you because the vivo x50 pro is well at least i would consider it to be just as good a camera as the s20 plus because the images at least have that level of polish i want to say the software which is actually a very crucial part of what makes a smartphone camera good is also in a similar manner very polished it's got a very consistent and very high quality image production that truly makes the x50 pro's camera almost exceptional in its own way now of course i'm not saying that the s20 plus has a bad camera no not by a long shot it's actually the x50 pro which has an almost exceptionally good camera which is why it's able to keep up with $1,200 flagship that in and of itself is something to be applauded. I mean, Vivo did one hell of a job in terms of the image quality alone. We haven't even touched on video yet. By the way, that video will be coming out very soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, I know I should be declaring a winner, but yeah, I'm gonna call this a tie. I know not a lot of you will like that I called it a tie, but what else can I say exactly? I mean, sure, initially it felt like the Vivo was lagging, but then it picked up the pace. It almost outclassed the S20 Plus in the night mode department. And yeah, even in portraits, it did really good job. And so, obviously, I'm going to call this a tie. I can't think of any other way to end this comparison in a fair manner. So, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be seeing you guys later. Cheers.